Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna deep dive into the advantages of ECS in software design compared to the standard object-oriented programming pattern. The first advantage is we are separating data from its behavior. On the left, we have the player class. All the data of the player is stored in the player class. One such field is the player name. And we can have multiple other fields like player speed, health, etc. The move player function is also part of the player class. How this would work in object-oriented programming is, we would create an instance of the player class with all its data like name, and then using that instance, we would call the move player method. So we can see that the data, that is player name, and its behavior, the move player method, are tightly coupled with each other, both part of the same class. On the right, we have implemented the same functionality using Bevy. We have a player component which maintains the data and the move player system which implements the game mechanics or player movement behavior. Both of them can be defined on their own. The player component has no idea what all systems would be using it. We can easily add any system which utilizes a player component. Similarly, we have the move player system. Currently, the system uses the player component as a filter. But it isn't tightly coupled with any specific class. We can just as easily add any other component as a filter to the system. A system can use a variety of components as filters and can end up reading or modifying more than one of them. Like here we are using the velocity and the player input components. This gives us a lot of flexibility in implementing game logic. Let's say you want to implement a fighting logic where both the player and the enemies are input to the game logic. Where would you place this method in object-oriented programming? Would this method be part of the player class? Would it be part of the enemy class? Would you create an entirely new class just for this one method? In Bevy, we can just create a new system with the player and enemy components in the query. It's that simple. Next, we move to reusability. We have two classes here, the player class and the enemy class. The player class with its own set of properties and the enemy class with its own set of properties. We want to implement a health regeneration functionality which you commonly see in first person shooters where if you lose your health, you would regain it after some time has passed. One way of implementing this is that each class has its own health regeneration method and a custom logic based on it. Here the player class and the enemy class both have their own method which do the same thing. This leads to code duplication. Another option is to create a health generation class, but we would still need to know whose health we are increasing, the player's health or the enemy's health. Bevy and the ECS framework does this much more elegantly. We have the health and the damage component at attached to different entities. Those entities could be players or enemies depending on what other components they have. All we need to do is write a system with health and damage in the query and implement a health generation logic which is common across all entities. So this is just a pseudo code for understanding purposes. But at a high level, the logic is if sufficient time has passed since the player was last shot, we refill the health. 
Composition over inheritance is one of the good practices which you use in low-level design or in designing your classes. This principle is quite useful in your software design interviews. Let's try to understand what this is with an example. We have the student class and the teacher class. They have their own properties like the student class has the student ID and the parent or guardian information. They also have their own methods. For a student, we would have to calculate the grades and then inform the guardians of the grades either via email or some other mechanism. To be a teacher, you need to have a valid teaching certificate or a degree. We can have a method to validate the certificate information and the teacher class also has a method to output the subjects taught by this particular teacher. Now we have teaching assistants. How would you implement this class? The teaching assistant in universities are usually students who have done the course before, so they would have a valid student ID. We would also need the subjects taught method from the teacher class to know what all courses the teaching assistant is part of. But the teaching assistant does not need to have a valid teaching certificate. If we inherit from both the classes, we unnecessarily end up having methods we do not need. The more you inherit, the more baggage you bring with you. This example is just for two classes and we already have problems. This can get much more complicated if we have many more classes. Composition over inheritance is basically instead of inheriting, you create a class which has the supposedly parent classes as fields of it to solve the inheritance problem. So instead of inheriting from student and teacher, the teaching assistant class would have a student property and a teacher property or field. But Bevy takes this one step further. How Bevy solves this is we try to create components which are as small as possible. Instead of a student component which has grades and guardian information, we just create a grade component and a guardian component separately. We can attach the grades component to both students and teaching assistants. The guardian component we can attach it only to the students and not teaching assistants. Since our systems implement a specific functionality and only depend on queries which it uses, we do not have to worry about the extra baggage. We do not have to worry about certain feeds leaking into business logic where it's not needed. You can go through the list of advantages mentioned below. So in the next video, we'll actually write some bevy code and get the bevy up working. Thanks for watching.